All right, this is a Polymer 80 single stack. It's basically like a Glock 43. Um, you may have seen uh, one picture of me uh, with this gun. I actually made it in Michigan a few weeks ago, but I'm out here on the tour and I have not had a Glock 43 magazine. So I was only able to test it like single shot. Conveniently, one of my students had a Glock 43 with him. So now I actually get to test the uh, build for real. And that's why we want to test it with a magazine and not just test it single shot. So I had a failure to extract, which then created a double feed and it still feels like there's a problem in there, right? So just because you test something single shot does not mean that you've really tested it all the way thoroughly. So I definitely have a failure to extract in there and you can see that it's stuck in there. It's steel case. So I fired probably about 30, 40 rounds through this thing before we started the video and it seemed to work fine. Uh, one of the things we have to remember is that, that some of the aftermarket -y stuff or these build parts aren't the same quality as OEM, what you're gonna get with an actual Glock. So testing this stuff is important. It worked fine with brass. That's probably the first piece of steel that's been in there. And you can see that that steel case does not want to extract. I can't even get the, the gun to clear that piece of steel that's in there. So just because you're testing dry and it functions properly, just because you're testing um, even single shot doesn't mean it's really ready for uh, prime time. I personally don't carry or stage any of my builds, whether they're polymer 80s, other type of kit builds, um, or any of the 3D printed stuff. And this is a pretty good example of why. Um, but they're fun and I'll get these cleared and I will have more fun with this as well.